cookie season is here, isn't it? And we actually can eat cookies all year long. So, and these oat cookies have the perfect texture. And I don't want to serve just cookies that are loaded with sugar, butter and unhealthy stuff. So I want to serve my family cookies that are a little bit healthier, um, but still taste like a cookie should taste. So, and these cookies are made with no sugar, no refined sugar, we use dates and maple syrup, no oil, and it's whole food plant-based friendly and it's naturally gluten-free. You can even make these cookies two to three days in advance. Let me show you how to make these. To get started, preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit, soak one third cup sunflower seeds and a half cup bitter dates in hot water. In the meantime, add three quarter cup oat flour, three quarter cup almond flour, one and a half cup old fashioned oats, one teaspoon baking powder and one teaspoon baking soda to a mixing bowl. In a high speed blender, blend the drained dates, the drained sunflower seeds with a quarter cup water, a quarter cup maple syrup or other sweetener and a quarter cup almond milk. You can also use other plant-based milks until creamy and no pieces are left. Add the cream to the dry ingredients and add a pinch of lemon zest, a teaspoon cinnamon powder and a teaspoon vanilla extract. Third cup raisins. Knead with your clean hands to a dough that just comes together. We do not want to knead too long. Add a little more water if it is too dry or a little more almond flour. You can now make cookies. I use two tablespoons of the dough to make a cookie. Make sure you press the cookies a little flat and let them stand for about 15 minutes. Bake them for around 15 minutes. Let the cookies cool completely before you serve them. Do not forget to check out all my tips on the blog post. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and give it a thumbs up if you did. I will see you again on the next video.